Good morning, church. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to start a series of devotion entitled The Tongue. The Power and the Danger of the Tongue. Watch out. And I want to share with you today, entitled the first devotion, How is your tongue? How is your tongue? And I'll read from Matthew 12, 34. It says, You snakes, Jesus said to the people, You are evil people. So how can you say anything good? The mouth speaks the things that are in the heart. The mouth speaks the things that are in the heart. You know, there was one lady by the name Mary Sutherland. She was the co-founder of Girlfriends in God, a conference and devotion ministry for women and authors of many, many books. One day she came down with a raging fever. Her doctor suspect, suspected viral meningitis. She, he asked her, how long have you had this solid white coating on your tongue? Mary was puzzled. The doctor continued, the health of the tongue is, very, is a very strong indicator of health of the entire body. One more time. The health of the tongue is a very strong indicator of the health of the entire body. And spiritually speaking, the same principle applies. I want to read two verses. One is we read just now, Matthew 12, verses 34 to 35 says, The mouth speaks the things that are in the heart. Good people, in verse 35, have good things in their hearts. And so they say good things, but evil people have evil in their hearts. So they say evil things. You know, the problem isn't the tongue itself. It's more serious than the tongue itself. The problem lies in your heart, your attitude, your outlook, your temperaments. Sutherland continues. He sa she said this, The tongue is a spiritual thermometer that reflects the condition of the heart. Words are power tools that can build, encourage, destroy, and cause confusion. We, we have all been hurt and even defeated by words spoken in anger or words rising out of a wounded heart that is within us. If, if my words are boastful, my heart is insecure. If my words are filthy, my heart is impure. If my words are critical, my heart is filled with pride and anger. Solomon said this, A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. In Proverbs 25 verse 11, The right word spoken at the right time in the right way can bring order in the midst of confusion and light on you a very dark path. Good people know the right thing to say. That's what is mentioned in the New Century Version in Proverbs 10, 32. Good people know the right thing to say. God gives us spiritual radar so we can assess a situation and speak the right word for that circumstance. We just need to check the radar screen before we speak. Isn't that great advice for all of us? Amen. We all, including myself, sometimes we speak things without thinking, without checking the radar of our life and our heart. So therefore, you know, the question is, how is your tongue? Your tongue reflect your health, your spiritual health condition before God and before men. Amen. Let's be careful with the words because it reflect who you are and what is inside of you and what is inside of me. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you strengthen us and bless us as we heard your, devotion, your word this morning. Help us to learn to set a guard over our tongue because very uh, an, 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 an unhealthy tongue reflects an unhealthy spirit, unhealthy spirit. If our spirit is unhealthy, unhealthy things come out from our, word, our tongues. We pray, Lord, you help us to set a guard over it and bless us. Bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. 
and you have a great day.